Mongolia's Ur River winds through a golden larch forest and flows past the Dian Derk Monastery. This wide, slow river offers a home to the Taiman, world's largest member of the trout salmon family. The Egg Ur River watershed is a symbol of cooperation between unlikely partners who came together to combine conservation practice with local tradition. The tributary fund, based in Bozeman, Montana, allied itself with Mongolia's Buddhist leadership, and together they worked to rebuild the Dian Derk Monastery. During the religious purges of 1937, monasteries throughout Mongolia were destroyed and thousands of monks were murdered. Practicing Buddhists were persecuted until 1990 the year the Soviet Union fell and Mongolia gained its independence. Buddha's face remains shrouded with a sacred cloth until the monastery is completed and blessed. The Hamba Lama, Mongolia's High Lama, has been the tributary fund's advisor and good friend. He has helped to clarify the connection between environmental ethics and Buddhism, which encourages reverence for all life. The tributary fund has great confidence in the valley's children. The first environmental education school in Mongolia will be established on the monastery grounds. The Buddhist leadership in Mongolia identify students who are gifted and bright and also want to become monks who have financial limitations and we have funded several students to go to school in the capital Ulaanbaatar who will study uh, to become Buddhist monks, they study Buddhism, and they also are learning about conservation and ecology. So these boys will spend three to four years uh, in intensive training in Buddhism, and they will also be learning about uh, conservation, how to implement conservation strategies, and how to come out here and be spokespeople for the environment. What we want to do with the monastery is make it a place for dialogue on conservation uh, within this Buddhist framework so that Buddhists all over the world come and learn about conservation issues and how to create sustainable solutions. The Tributary Fund has several partners in addition to the monks, including community leaders, biologists, and tourism operators. Mongolian and American fisheries biologists track time and movements with telemetry. And so what we found is that they're moving a lot during the fall and during the spring. They move in the spring to spawn, and then they move in the fall to go back into deep areas that don't freeze during the winter. And so why that's important for management, for instance, we've heard that sometimes there's poaching during the winter, and people will cut holes in the ice and drop nets in these deep pools. And so by knowing where the fish are during the winter, we know uh, which areas need to be protected. The Egg Ur is one of the last healthy Taiman fishers in the world, in part because the people in the valley do not eat Taiman. Some say the fish is sacred. Others say its taste is inferior to mutton. Tourists are also helping with the project. 
Sweetwater Travel and Havsgall Travel offer Ur River trips for fly fishing enthusiasts. When a taimen is landed, the visitors coordinate with the science team to tag the fish before returning it to the river. <laughs> One of the things that's been particularly interesting about this project is that we've had a chance to go and look at ancient sutras that pertain to this area. One of which is a sutra that was translated last year that says the death of one taiman equals the souls of 999 people suffering. And uh, when you talk to people about that particular sutra, it's pretty compelling. Dawa grew up in the Egg Ur watershed and volunteered to interview her family and neighbors about their views on nature, Buddhism, and threats to the environment. Dawa went to school in the U.S., but has moved back to Mongolia, where she is pursuing a career in journalism. Community involvement is essential to the success of time and conservation, and Dawa's questions encouraged local interest, and participation. These interviews are part of a Mongolian film project documenting the comments and contributions of local people. The film's premiere will take place at the Dian Derk Monastery. Яг одоо бид нар ингээд цаа өрс өмийн уулганы хөндөд байж байна. Ингээд бид энэ нутгийн одоо эргэн жавзан тулгуудаа уулз шидэн асуулт гэсэн юм байна. Та өөрийнхөө нэр усаа хилээд. Нэрээ. Сүм бол одоо шашин сүм байгуулсан шашин бүхэн шашнаа шүтэх хүн хүн хайрлан хүндлэх энэ бүхэн шашнаасаа өөдлөтэй байдаг бүх энэ бүгд шашин гэдэг шашин гэдэг бол одоо бидний л ухаарах уу гэж гээр хөх орчин in the end of the interest of the whole thing, the student to learn Zanzan Slats, Sasate, Oymot, Angamton, a bear snake talk to us, two so had to go things are Chinese or just bear on the other twenty dollars, but she was in the name of the Humte, Ish Sahar and George. Oh, 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 Nomads travel for miles to gather for the auspicious occasion. Over 700 nomads gather on the day of celebration. The event offers the opportunity to see friends and family, hold archery, wrestling, and horse racing contests, and celebrate the return of Diane Dirk. <laughs> Sakhosov <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't say